Hello folks and a warm welcome to Wildwood Camping which is a area of woodland in Sussex not too far from Uckfield which has got um, six or seven yurts scattered about and um, so we've hired one for a couple of nights that's um, me and Mrs Camping Astronomer for a little bit of glamping. My name's John and I make videos on camping, walking and astronomy. If you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there but in the meantime let's crack on with this video. Uh, typically now we're back home as you can see behind me here it's so glorious sunshine um, of the two days that we had at um, at the wild woods campsite basically of the 48 hours we were there it absolutely hammered down for, for 44 of them <laughs> however uh, you'd think that would make for a fairly miserable experience, but we actually had a really nice time. Uh, being inside a yurt and doing a bit of glamping was a bit of a revelation. The wood burning stove really made a massive difference to um, what it was like inside the yurt. So in fact, we had basically two days of enforced relaxation and it just meant you could sit and read or listen to podcasts or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I, we, you know, we had a really nice time and we shall be going back again. Uh, to give you an idea of the cost, it was £75 a night, so 150 quid for two nights. The yurt actually can sleep up to five people. So, you know, if you're a family of four or something, it, it's... Um, uh, uh, quite a good deal to be honest um, we bought a wheelbarrow full of logs which was a tenner uh, and there was uh, we had loads left at the end and we were using the wood burning stove a lot we only got to use the fire outside for a few hours on the first day just before um, the rain set in and then after that it was just too wet um, 
honestly, there was like thunder and lightning. It was incredible. <laughs> and to, to be that comfortable really says a lot for the, for, for the overall experience. Um, I want to point out here that, you know, we paid for the visit ourselves. It was, it was my wife who found the, um, the campsite. Um, so there's no, nothing forcing me to say nice things about it. Um, it was just something that was really, really good. And it's something that I shall um, look forward to doing again. They close, I think, for the year at the end of this month, end of September, and open again apparently late March, early April. I think it might depend a bit on, on when Easter is. But yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed this extremely short video just to give you a feeling of, uh, of of what it was like. I'll put a link to the um, campsite in the description for anybody who might be interested in going there, just so you can, you can take a look. But yeah, um, back home now. So on that cheery note, I'll bid you cheerio. Take care. See you.